morning YouTube so got back from the fire station this morning it was a good shift and uh, actually got to sleep through the night and that is so nice um, I was gonna share with you guys uh, a little tip this could be maybe the tip of the day yeah let's call it the tip of the day uh, I like the tip of the day it's uh, it's it's always helpful so you notice here Yeah, he's cutting trees, limbs. So, this one here has got the inner fender well on it still. And you can see how these kind of hang down a little bit. Probably need to be up like that, you know. But if they're hanging down like that, and you come across here, this is awesome. This is the easy way. When this catches on this, it kicks it back underneath the tire. And it will rip that thing completely off the car. And you don't have to sit and freaking mess with those little pop, you know, you have to sit with the little deal and pop all these loose. It's perfect. It just rips it right off. I mean, within seconds. I mean, save you 10 minutes of having to sit and try to pull all those little pop-offs off and breaking them and all that. It just rips it completely off. Just like that. I mean, boom. Just like that. So, if you guys want a quick and easy way to get those off... Just get you something to wear, or, or just get under there and kind of push them underneath and drive forward. It will rip them right off every time. So it was amazing. I, I thought, man, I wish I'd have done that sooner. So, uh, yeah, back to this stuff. Uh, I think we're going to do some cleanup today. I need uh, some workspace, so I'm going to clean this stuff up for the next probably hour or so, and uh, then we're going to get the priming on that bad boy. I appreciate the comments. You paper if I got some handy here and see kind of lightly run it over that and see what we got going. I was able to quit smoking and then I started running. Now I feel like I can't about where I'm I can't say that's too bad. My thing is when life gives you a wake up call, answer it. You can quit. For free help call one eight hundred quit now. I really like this hotel room. Like See, that one's gone. That's crazy. Of course, I see him do it with the paintless dent repair all the time, and I thought, ah. I thought, well, hell, those are cheap. Those little things are cheap, so I'll give them a shot. Well, they work. Maybe. No, it got me a high spot working there. Dang! Better look at my phone, somebody may be dying. <laughs> Believe me, I'm not that popular. 
I think that worked. I am freaking impressed. I am impressed. I'll clean that up and throw a little bit of high build all over these spots that I was talking about. I'll make throw a little high build over that and go ahead and just block it down again, but just in those little areas there. I don't think it needs it, honestly, but we'll see. All right, guys, I'll bring you back. All right, this is what we're using. We got Matrix Universal Clear. We got uh, the hardener, and uh, the urethane reducer went slow with it. We got our paint. I got one quart. This will make two sprayable quarts, half gallon. Uh, I think they did a pretty good job mixing it. Probably a real good job, actually. I don't know how well this will show up, but you can see this here area. I don't know how well that will show or not. Anyway, looks pretty close to me, but until we get her on the car, we won't know. But um, the guy's been doing it for a long time, and he seemed like he knew what he was doing. So I got this for the, the blender. I know you can get something that goes in a gun, but uh, this stuff may be a little more convenient. So... Tell me what you guys think about that. I mean, they had two or three different kinds, Transpar Star. The guy pretty much told me it's all the same stuff, so, and it's all 1K, so. Anyway, uh, cups, strainers. So, yeah, we're pretty well, we're ready. When the day, when the time comes, we'll be ready. Day's not here yet. I'm still getting ready to prime this up, so. But, uh, yeah. There you go. That little that little thing was worth every penny I put into it. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Oh, uh, Daryl came by to see me, <laughs> and he said, "Hey, I got something for you." Uh, let's see where to put them. Look at that, Magnum. He got me three of them bad boys. I won't run out for a while. Pretty happy with that. Um, so thanks, Daryl. That was awesome. It's the little things, man. It's the little things. That makes me happy. So, all right, man. We'll uh, we'll bring you back in a little bit. I was trying to get ugly, so we pulled that one in there, pulled this one in here, and uh, got the hood done. Uh, not painting it today because I got to let that primer set, and I got uh, advice from my uh, hero, Matt, who said to uh, paint the whole thing, uh, at least put a coat over the whole thing. So I am going to do just that. 
Uh, then when I put it back together, you know, I'll go ahead and put the finishing coats on it or whatever. But, um, yeah, I appreciate you guys' advice. I, I mean, honestly, I'm sure I can make this work, but it wouldn't come out near as, near as nice as it's going to with uh, all the extra help I'm getting. So, uh, yeah, this is primed. Uh, you can't really see that so much, but it's primed. Um, I got three coats on all of that, so that should be good. I gotta let that sit for at least till tomorrow. Got my paint mixed up here, the Honda Accord. It's Celestial Blue Metallic, and uh, so that's ready to go. I just went ahead and got me a, a brand new can, and just it's a half. There's a half a gallon there. Um, and what else? What else? What else? Oh, look at that. So pick this up off of Craigslist. This is that uh, steel grating stuff or whatever, slip stuff, anti-slip. Uh, it's an inch and a quarter, which is exactly what that lip is right there. So that's going to fit in there flush. Uh, once again, Ryan, thank you because he found this for me. Uh, so all I got to do is cut it. Um, to approximately two foot or whatever that is, 19, I don't know what it is, but anyway, by six feet. So I'll probably two, put two three foots down there that way because these are heavy. That way I can pull them up and I'll have to pull six foot up at once when I'm cleaning all that out. And I'll be able to walk over this and won't have to worry about breaking my ankle anymore, hopefully. So uh, I am going to pretty much stop on the painting thing for now. I got everything cleaned up and I am going to start uh, Doing some filler work on this bad boy right here, and uh, get it get it done, and maybe try to get it in some air. Well, I really do want to get it in some primer this evening, so I think I'm gonna work on that. Try to get that in uh, finished primer. So we'll see how it works out. See you. All right, let's do some of this stuff. Uh, complete guess here. Yes. Well, it's like enough. It's not. We'll mix up more, right? One, two, one. Oh, that smells wonderful. Really, it doesn't. I'm kidding. I like the smell of Bondo, but this isn't Bondo. I mean, it is, but it isn't. Some kind of plastic, nasty smelling shit. Alright, let's do it. Of course I gotta get some on my thumb. It wouldn't be right if I didn't get some on my hand or my thumb or under my fingernails or <laughs> something. Uh, I don't know if you can see that or not. Doesn't really matter. Probably nobody gives two shits about me putting this stuff on. But for that one guy that does give a shit, we'll move it around here a little bit. We'll leave it a little fat. And that's because I don't know how much this stuff shrinks up. I want it to fill. So, what else I got?
I know you probably can't see me from where you are, but I don't know how fast this stuff kicks either, so probably assuming it's about like regular filler. But I'd rather you not see and me get this on and you not be pissed off. Because I didn't get this on and it kicked. I gotta mix more up. Alright. I'm sure I missed something somewhere. That, that. Got that one. That one. Looks like we got it all. It did pretty good. Not bad. It was too much. Uh. All right. We'll let that kick for a bit. 